Welcome student. Today we are going to learn perimeter which is defined as the outer boundary or distance around a figure. It is generally denoted by capital letter P. A, B, C, D, E, F is a polygon. To measure its perimeter, we need to add the measure of all its sides. Let us cover the distance from A to A in the direction shown. Total distance would be AB plus BC plus CD plus DE plus EF plus FA. According to the definition of perimeter, the total distance will be equal to the perimeter of the figure. Let us revise. Perimeter is the distance around a two-dimensional figure. These figures could be a triangle, a square, a rectangle, a circle, or any other polygon. In this example, we are given a triangular flop bed whose side measure 21 feet, 25 feet and 22 feet. We need to find the perimeter of the flower bed. We know that perimeter of a triangle is equal to sum of the measure of all the sides of the triangle. That means perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C. Now Side A is equal to 21 feet, side B is equal to 25 feet, and side C is equal to 22 feet. Therefore, perimeter should be equal to 21 plus 25 plus 22, that is 68 feet. Let us consider perimeter of a square. As perimeter is equal to sum of the all the sides and a square has four equal sides we can say that perimeter of a square is equal to four times the measure of a side of the square that means in the square whose side is equal to s feet perimeter will be equal to s plus s plus s plus s or another form perimeter will be equal to 4 times s feet. If s is equal to 5 feet, then perimeter should be equal to 4 times 5, that is 20 feet. One more example shall be helpful. Measure of a side of a square wooden board is given to be 35 inches. We need to calculate the perimeter of the wooden board. According to the question, side of the square wooden board measures 35 inches. And we have just learned that perimeter of a square is equal to 4 times side. Therefore, in case of this wooden board, perimeter should be equal to 4 times 35 which is equal to 140 inches. Now, we shall find how to calculate perimeter of a rectangle. Perimeter of a rectangle is defined as 2 times the sum of length and width of the rectangle. If in the given figure, length is equal to L and width is equal to W, then perimeter will be equal to 2 times L plus W. Let us assume that length is equal to 7 feet and width is equal to 5 feet. Then, as perimeter is equal to 2 times L plus W, that is, perimeter is equal to 2 times 7 plus 5, we find that perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 24 feet. For better understanding, 
Let us consider one more example. Length of a rectangular swimming pool is equal to 62 feet and width is given to be 45 feet. We need to find the perimeter. We know that perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 times the sum of length and width. As length is equal to 62 feet and width of the rectangle is equal to 45 feet, so perimeter of the rectangular swimming pool can be written as 2 times 62 plus 45, which is 2 times 107. So perimeter becomes 214 feet. We shall now see how to calculate circumference of a circle. Circumference is the boundary or distance around a circle. It is a kind of perimeter. If radius of a circle is r, then circumference is equal to 2 times pi times r. Or we can say that it's 2 pi r, where pi is equal to 3.14 approximately and r is the radius of the circle. If, for example, radius of the circle is equal to 7 feet, then circumference will be equal to 2 times 3.14 times 7, which is equal to 43.96 feet. Let us consider an example for more clarity. Diameter of a circular field is given to be 42 feet. We need to calculate the circumference of the circular field. As AB is the diameter, OB and OA are radii, so OB should be equal to OA, which must be the half the measure of the diameter. Therefore, OB is equal to OA, which is equal to 21 feet. We know that circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r, where pi is equal to 3.14 and r is the radius of the circle. So circumference will be equal to 2 times 3.14 times 21. That means circumference is equal to 131.88 feet. We know that perimeter of any polygon is the sum of measure of all the sides. In this example, the measure of all sides of the polygon is given and perimeter is required. As just discussed, perimeter would be equal to sum of all the sides. That is, 5 plus 4.5 plus 4 plus 3.5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2.5. It gives the measure of perimeter as 26.5 inches. Before we conclude, let's have an overview. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 times L plus B, where L is the length and B is the breadth or width of the rectangle. Perimeter of a square is equal to 4 times S, where S is any side of the square. Perimeter of a triangle is given by sum of all the three sides. Circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r, where pi is equal to 3.14, and r is the radius of the circle. Finally, perimeter of any closed figure is equal to sum of the measure of all the sides of the figure. This brings us to the end of today's session. Goodbye and take care.